It's always a fun time at the Canadian International Auto Show. And this year we decided to share it with you guys. Each of us picked three displays that stood out the most. We also set out to find one car that we would all agree on, the purpose-built choice. I think this is going to be one of my favorite picks. Um, not usually into Hondas, but you can't go wrong with an Indy car. And uh, I just really, really like the uh, color theme on this one. Yeah, it's very opulent. I like the little details, the, uh, the little mechanisms that they printed on the uh, wings and, and the fire. And it's super cool. Super excited about Alfa Romeo bringing more models to the North American market. It's exciting to see more European models. Uh, well, this one has 500 horsepower. There's, 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 there's not that many. 500 horsepower. There's not that many. How much is it? Four door sedans. Doesn't say. Doesn't say that's, how much. That's the only unfortunate thing is it doesn't say how much. But there's not that many four door sedans that you can get with a 500 horsepower. You know, yeah. there's lots of carbon two, fiber. Two, like I like the, I like the, the front two. of it and. And, and there's so much racing legacy that comes with Alfa Romeo. Yeah. There's so many iconic cars that they made before. So this is one of my picks. It's the new 2016 Mazda Miata. This is specifically the uh, MX-5 Cup version of it. I think they're doing a one make series. And uh, I love it because it's really a throwback to the old light roadsters. I think it's the roll cage that does it for you, doesn't it? It's the, it's the roll cage and the livery that does it for me, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Clearly this is one of your picks, let's hear about it. Um, what can I say that hasn't been said about Tesla? It fits, it fits small people in the front. It fits small people e e easily, yeah. So if you have like kids getting in your shot and getting in the way, you can just put them in the front and, and close it. And, and what, else, what other car can you do that with? But really, it's not the trunk. I love the hunker down look, I think it's fucking sexy. Um, in a future episode of Purpose Build, you'll, I'll explain all about how electric cars are the future overlords we should all welcome wholeheartedly. It's not hard to see why they chose the kayaks. Plastic everywhere. Plastic on the kayaks, plastic on the inside. Continuing the tradition, Cobble Beach brought some contrast to the show with a variety of rare vintage vehicles. These cars really let you witness the evolution of the automobile. And we made it to the art and the automobile uh, or automobile <laughs> section presented by Cobble Beach. Maybe me as a reference will help you understand just how gigantic these fucking things are. I mean, I'm 6'2 and this thing is almost as tall as me with a fabric roof. Now that we finally made it to the gym in Pato Town. Yes, the gym. I'm really excited. I'm so excited. Indeed. Dude, Le Mans winning Audi Quattro e-tron. Beautiful car. Uh, I don't know, the amount of crazy lines on it, the amount of sexiness and, and, and pure adrenaline, is, it just blows my mind. I love what they've been doing with Hybrid. They're the company that made Hybrid a winning combination for Le Mans. And, uh, five years too, like five years in a row, that, that takes yeah. some racing pedigree to be key to well, Porsche winning. kicked their ass last yeah, year and they're gonna kick their ass yeah, again yeah, this year. Yeah. Well, Porsche right, is Porsche. So but, this is probably the thing that makes me most weak at the knees. Uh, this is the Porsche booth and here are the two race cars they brought. They have the Cayman GT4, the club sport, and they're gonna basically plan like a one make uh, racing series with this, I think, or something like that. Uh, whatever it races in, it's pretty fucking fantastic. 1300 kilos, uh, it's got the PDK, but I mean, it makes sense because it's a racing version, so you can't even complain, and it's just gorgeous. And I really love this livery too. That's what excites me is that that's pretty much is the GT4 that you can buy, just stripped down a little bit. It's not, I mean, it's not like a whole other car. Like, yeah, the GT4 was just the smartest thing Porsche didn't know in a real while. And uh, of course, there's the LMP1, the 919 that won uh, Le Mans and kicked Audi's ass. And uh, we're going to do it again this year, like I said. This is the 
this is going to be another choice for me. It's also 500 horsepower. I love the color scene, the gray, like satin gray with the yellow mm -hmm. and, and the elements of that on the wheels. I really like the headlights, the carbon fiber elements on the, on the front bumper. I really it's... like it. I think I like it even more than the previous C63 AMG. And this is the S edition. I guess it's more sporty. Reading about it, you, they say there's uh, dynamic engine mounts. Whatever the hell that means. The real question is how much does it cost and how much shit can I fit in the trunk? You know what's the real question? Can you fit the amount of money that it costs into this trunk? Mm, that's a future PB test we should carry out. Yep. You do know I'm uh, not really fond of new Beamers that much. M4 GTS. It is a bit busy for my taste. Yeah, the snowplow. The snowplow is unbelievable. For those Canadian roads. Yeah, the side mirrors. Side mirrors. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. going to tell you, that I find them a little too much, but... What if you're Batman? You're a Batman. You're Batman, I think. You're like you, can, you can rock it. What about the rims? Yeah, I like the rims, but... I'm more excited about the carbon fiber and the front lip and the... Uh, the the wing. wing does look kind of like... Like everything is, you know, like factory made. Mm -hmm. It all fits. This does wheel. look like a little bit of an aftermarket, aftermarket? thing, yeah. but still, I like it. Not... Oh, it's great. After the Germans, we stumbled on a good old gas-guzzling Indy 500 showcase. Besides an astonishing lineup of legendary race cars, you get to meet and shake hands with Canadian star James Hinchcliffe. Well, I actually did a stock with uh, Honda Civic with a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah? Was the I, one... do, I do the Russian office. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have my T-shirt from that. Yeah, <laughs> you guys get one. Yeah, exactly. All right. Cool. Yeah, good to see you. All the best. Cheers. Take care. While Nikita was busy being a fanboy, Anton thought he saw Bill Brack's old Lotus and quickly made his way over. This is one of my picks, and uh, I don't think it's it's a surprise why the red, uh, the fire red. You can see it from across the room. Reminds me of the uh, Lotus we shot with Bill Brack. This is also a vintage racer. This is a STP Corporation uh, Lotus from 1968. It's uh, driven by Graham Hill. I don't know, man, like just the looks of this car, it, it, it makes me think of these good old times and uh, I don't know, I melt. We then arrived to the auto exotica section, and as Nikita and Kirill were accumulating drool in front of the McLaren and Pagani cars, I decided to continue the search for the PB choice. There it was, the holy grail. The Porsche 911, reimagined by Singer Vehicle Design. Anybody else walking by might think this was just another 911 classic. We knew what we were looking at was a half million dollar custom art piece. found our friends here at the auto show. So Andrew, tell us, uh, what are you doing here? Well, here with this uh, Porsche GT3, we're showing the new uh, Pro Series film from uh, 3M. Definitely protects your vehicle from stone chips, from scratches. You want to take your vehicle to the track, it's a must have. Here with David DeSoma of Formula Drift Canada. We're very excited to see their booth at the uh, Canadian International Auto Show this year. I think it's important that they keep bringing fun projects and fun cars here. Uh, David, why don't you tell us about the exciting news? Yeah, so first of all, we're here because on June 25th, we are bringing professional drifting back to Ontario for that? the first time in over five years. Uh, and it's gonna be at Sunset Speedway, which is very close to Barrie, Ontario, in his build to be specific, 40 minutes north of here. So we're here, we're promoting, we're getting the word out that Formula Drift is coming and bringing professional drifting back to Ontario. Exciting, thank you so much, David. Thank it's you It's great seeing you guys and yeah. uh, looking forward to the summer. Oh, it's gonna be a crazy event. Absolutely, absolutely. Have a good one, guys. Hey guys, we're here at the uh, Canadian International Auto Show, uh, signing posters at the Formula Drift Canada booth. Come grab a poster, check out Pat Sears' car, uh, check out this guy. Yeah, I got my car here too. I'll be here Saturday, Sunday, signing posters, chatting with everybody. 
Uh, stop at the FD booth. You can get uh, passes. Enter to win free passes for the redemption round in Toronto this coming summer for Formula Drift Canada. So if you got time, swing by, say hello, chat about drifting, all that fun stuff. Hopefully we'll see you this weekend.